Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the attribute blocks. So the attribute blocks have four different attributes, color, shape, size, and thickness. And so as we go through, we're going to put the hoops to signify that particular attribute. So for example, if we wanted to choose color, we could choose any of the three colors. But in this particular case, I'm going to just choose red. So everything that's red is going to go here in this red hoop. I'm also going to choose a shape. So the shape that I'm going to choose is going to be a circle. So everything that's a circle, I'm going to put in this blue hoop. So I have everything that red that's red goes here and everything that's a circle goes here. Next, I'm going to choose a size. So I just want things that are small. So I'm going to put everything that's small in this hoop. So now I'm going to start going through my items and see what I have. Okay, well here I have something yellow, so it's not red. Is it a circle? No. Is it small? No. So I'm going to put that one outside. So I'm going to go in any of these. Now I'm going to look at this next one. Okay, well. It's blue, it's not red, it's not a circle, and it's not small. So that's gonna go outside of the sets. Okay, next I'm gonna choose this. Okay, is it a circle? No. Is it red? No. But is it small? Yes, it's small. So I'm gonna put it here in the small circle. And next I'm going to choose this one. Is it red? No. Is it a circle? Yes. Is it small? No. So I'm going to put it right here where it says circle. Next I'm going to pick this one. Is it red? No. Is it a circle? No. Is it small? Yes. So I can put it here. So you see you have the kids put things where they go. All right, how about this one? Is it red? Yes. Is it a circle? Yes. Is it small? No. So here it's both red and a circle. What should I do? How can I put it so it could be both in the circle circle and in the red circle? Well here, this is where they overlap. So it's red, it's in that hoop, but it's also a circle, so it's in that hoop too. So this is the intersection of two sets. So that's a very important thing for them to learn. All right, now what about this one? Okay, it's red. Is it a circle? No. Is it small? Yes. So where should we put this? Well, it's gotta be in the small circle and in the red circle. So we'll put it right there. It's red and small. What about this one? It's also red and small. These two are a little different though because this one is thin and this one is thick. But we haven't, we haven't talked about the attribute of thickness yet. We could have put it in there, but we didn't choose that one. Okay, what about this? Is it red? Is it small? Yes, so it goes in here. What about this? It's red, yes. It's not a circle, and it's not small. So we put that in there. What about this one? It's a circle, it's not small, and it's not red. So I'll put that over here. So as we go through all the things, we want to check, okay, that one is a circle, and it's also small, so we put it here. Because it's small, and it's a circle. So what do you think I need to put in the very center? What should I put in the very center? Hmm, let's look through the box. It has to be a circle, it has to be red, and it has to be small. What about this? It's red, it's a circle, and it's small. It's gonna go right there in the center. So as kids do this activity, they'll be able to sort and classify according to shape,
color, size, and if we had if we had determined thick or thin, let's say we wanted to switch these out, we could put thin and then change it. Let's try that. Let's change some of these around so that we can see what it would look like if that was thin instead of small. Okay, so let's try this. What about this? It's thin, yes, and it's red, so it goes here. What about this one? It's thin, so it goes here. What about this one? It's thin and it's a circle, so this time it's going to go right there. What about this one? It's not thin, not thin, it's red and it's a circle. So that's going to go up here because it's thick, not thin. What about this one? Okay, it's also a circle and it's thin. As we start learning how to teach this way, kids can put things where they go. Here we have something that's thick and it's red and it's not a circle. Let me put that over there. Now, what if I wanted something that was just a circle, but it's not red and it's not thin? Here, a blue one. A blue, thick circle. Now again, it looks like we can also put this one. It's a circle, it's red, and it's thin. Is there another one in my box? Let's look and see what else could go in the middle. It's red, it's a circle, and it's thin. So here we can have two of those in the middle. And these are the attribute hoops with attribute blocks and sorting and classifying. And here I have some ideas for you and some strategies when you go to plan your classification activity. So the first thing you want to do when you're planning it out is you want to list all of the attributes and their characteristics. So for these shells, we have one um, attribute, which is texture. So the two characteristics of that attribute are rough or smooth. So I can classify things, they're either rough texture or smooth texture. And then for shape, we have spiral or not spiral. And for color, we have either a solid color or a pattern. So now from here, we're going to choose our um, we're going to choose our characteristics. So I'm going to cut these out. Rough, spiral, spiral, color. Okay. So for rough and smooth, I'm going to put these together because I can only pick one. For solid color or pattern of color, I'm going to put those together because I only pick one of those. Remember we talked about what happens if we, if we put solid color in one and pattern of color in another one, we won't have anything in the middle. And then we have spiral and not spiral here. So I am going to just pick, I think I want the ones that are rough in this, in this one. Then I want a pattern of color here. And I think I want everything that is spiral over here. So I can use these other ones for later. So let's go through and look and see some of the shells that we have in here. And let's take, say, this one. Okay, 
Is it rough? Yes, it's rough. Does it have a pattern of color? Yes, so it's at least here. Is it spiral? Yes, so it's going to go in the middle. All right, I'll take the next one. Here's this one. Is it rough? No, it's nice and smooth. Is it spiral? No. Does it have a pattern of color? No, this one goes outside the set. Okay, what about this one? Well, it's a little rough and a little smooth. I would say it's basically smooth though. So it would not be rough. Does it have a pattern of color? Yes. Is it a spiral? No, so I'm gonna put it here. Pattern of color, not spiral and not rough. Okay, here's the next shell. This is smooth, so it's not going to be in the rough area. Yes, it has a pattern of color. Yes, it's spiral, so it's going to go right there. Okay, let's look at this next one. This one is rough, but it doesn't have a pattern of color. It's not spiral, so it's just plain rough. No pattern, color. Here's another one. Okay, this is rough and spiral. It has a little bit of a pattern of color, so I would say it goes right down the middle. Here's another one. It's rough and spiral, but there's no pattern of color, so that's going to go right here. So let's see. We have, we don't have a spiral that doesn't have a pattern of color and that's not rough. So we can specifically look for that one if we want to fill in everything. This one's not rough. It's pretty much the same color, except at the end. So spiral, no pattern of color, and not rough. What else are we missing? Well, we're missing a pattern of color that is rough, but not spiral. Okay, here, this one is rough. It has a pattern of color and it's not spiral. So when you prepare your activities, think of creative ways to classify and use different materials such as this. Okay, so now we're gonna try these blocks and see if we can classify them with our same system. So we have color, there are four colors. And then we have whether it has a circle, a triangle, a rectangle, or a square. You can see some of them have circles, triangles, squares, or rectangles as part of the three-dimensional shape, and whether it's large or small. So in looking at the shapes, I decided to pick that this one would be green. See, that's the color one. And this one is going to be large down here. And over here, the shapes. Um, I chose a triangle. Okay, so let's go ahead and start placing some shapes where they go. Let's look, let's just pull out anything. Okay, here we have a green one, and it's also a triangle, and it's also large, so it goes straight in the middle. And here we have a large one, so it's at least large. Does it have a triangle? No. Is it green? No, so it's going to go over here. Right, let's try this one. Um, is it large? Yes. Is it green? No. Is it a triangle? No. So it goes over here. This one. What about this one? Is it large? No. Is it green? Yes. Does it have a triangle? No goes there. What about this one? Is it large? No. Is it green? Yes. Does it have a triangle? Yes. So it goes right here. What about this one? It's large. Is it green? Triangle? No. It's going to go right here. So I want to find something now to fit in here that's a triangle and is large but is not green. Do you see anything there? I'm thinking this is a triangle, it's large and it's not green, so I'll put that in there. 
Now I want to find something that is large and green, but not a triangle to put here. What's large and green, but not a triangle? How about this one? Okay. Yes, it's green. Yes, it's large, but no, it's not a triangle. So as you go through these things with the kids, you can have them develop their sense of reasoning through this. What about something that's just a triangle, but it's not large and it's not green? Do you see anything in there that's just a triangle that's not large and not green? I see this one. I'll put that here. Just a triangle. So there are so many different ways you can do this with so many different materials. So. I'm gonna leave it up to you and your creativity to figure out an activity for us. Okay, bye-bye now.